हेलो एवरीवन माई सेल्फ अमित कुमार माने फाउंडर ग्लोबल फार्मा एकेडमी टुडे आई एम गोइंग टू टेल यू वन ऑफ द टॉप एम एन सी इन इंडिया दैट इज फोर्ट्रिया ओके विच इज एसोसिएटेड विद लैपकॉप सो दिस इज अ सी आर ओ विच विल वर्किंग इन क्लिनिकल रिसर्च एक्टिविटीज सो देर आर अपॉर्चुनिटीज फॉर द फार्मा को विजिलेंस सो बिफोर थ्री टू फोर मंथ्स बिफोर सो देर आर लॉट ऑफ अपॉर्चुनिटीज इवन इन द अपकमिंग डेज दैट विल बी अगेन द अपॉर्चुनिटीज विल बी देयर फॉर द फोर्ट्रियम Uh, so today in this video i am going to tell you the interview questions the round of the interview and what kind of the questions they will ask so that you will prepared properly for the fortria interview okay so let's get start so before starting the video i must tell you if you are new to our channel don't forget to subscribe our channel which provides various interview opportunity according to the company according to the domain and again the career opportunity video about the comparison video okay and various certification courses information so let's get start first of all i will told you before going any interview you need to check about the company their services their activities their locations and their vision uh, their board of directors everything you need to know even any current uh, achievement or any announcement is there you need to know okay because the company will ask what you know about our organization okay this is the first thing you have to do second thing you have to work on your resume resume should be proper okay if you are prepared your resume according to the requirements like the resume it includes more tabs related to the pharmacovigilance which is the your actual job okay because most of the mnc company go through the ats so uh, in the ats the keywords plays very important role so that is why you have to keep your resume according to the ats then if your resume is selected then the first round for the fortria they will actually call you and schedule the interview uh, confirmation and once you get a confirmation you have to visit the particular venue of the company the these company are in the most of the metro cities uh, currently in the bangalore and pune location so uh, if you are selected for the interview then you can uh, visit uh, their uh, location and the first round is the aptitude test aptitude test include 10 questions these are the mcqs questions and descriptive both okay so it is completely related to the pharmacovigilance what kind of the questions they will ask that is what is pharmacovigilance okay any case you, uh, they will give and uh, they will ask this is serious adverse event or uh, non serious adverse event then uh, they will also ask you about the uh, uh, pharmacovigilance uh, that is active pharmacovigilance passive pharmacovigilance some terminologies okay so these are the basic only basic pharmacovigilance questions are there if you are selected for this round it means you will get you have an basic idea of about pharmacovigilance then the next round is all about that is uh, two rounds are uh, that uh, included hr round and technical round the second round and that is the final round they will ask in this uh, round that is tell me about yourself your weaknesses and your strength why you are applying for this job how much year you will be in our organization if we select you okay and then uh, they will ask about uh, your experience if you had experience they will ask about your project work if you are going through any project and then comes to the uh, technical round and technical round is again uh, on pharmacology and pharmacovigilance on the pharmacology they will ask about bioavailability pharmacokinetic pharmacodynamics mechanism of action various antibiotics uh, that classifications and uh, some basic terminologies then move to the pharmacovigilance pharmacovigilance they will ask adverse event adverse reactions they will ask uh, about uh, uh, narrative writing then meta coding so first of all if you are aware about this thing then it is good otherwise you need to learn about this and if you are certified it means you are going through any certification course then that will be better impact because these things already covered in any certification course okay so uh, that is the best thing you can uh, uh, get knowledge from this course and then apply that will be again better and uh, uh, again the next question is uh, all about some uh, scenario they will give about any particular medicines how you detect any adverse event like uh, what are the causality assessment methods okay so they will ask these things and uh, the questions are not limited questions will be more according to uh, you answer properly they will ask the next question so mostly the pharmacovigilance informations they will check uh, since the candidate is fresher they want the candidate should have pro 
pronoun uh, information about pharmacovigilance and pharmacology okay and have a good confidence and communication skill these will also check okay so i hope this in uh, information will definitely help you and if you are looking for uh, certification course in pharmacovigilance definitely we will provide you three month online certification course in pharmacovigilance where we provide first domain knowledge second skill development and placement assistance hopefully this video help you to know more about the fortria interview for the pharmacovigilance position okay so tell me in the uh, comment box in which company you are looking for the uh, interview questions okay so we will try to prepare for it and uh, thank you for watching this video i wish you all the best happy learning thank you